for all you cake lovers out there, this is the show for you. We're at the Excel Center for the Cake and Bake Show. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Jane and this is my amazing garlic and ginger grating plate. It looks absolutely wonderful, Jane. Now, tell us a little bit about your uh, plates. Well, seeing as we're at the Cake and Bake, I better mention chocolate. It's amazing for chocolate, nutmeg, lemon zest, serrated. So, I'll show you. Uh, nutmeg, usually nutmeg's very hard to grate. The plate is serrated. You rub it round and that's fresh nutmeg. Wish it was smell vision it smells fantastic. You can see, get all, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely wonderful. Uh, get a fresh parmesan. They're, they're from France. They're ceramic, so they don't hold the flavour. So you can grate garlic, chocolate, lemon zest. But anybody who cakes, bakes, cooks, they love them. Really nice. So, are you saying um, you don't need to wash between? You wash them, yeah, yeah. Give them a wash, warm water, but they don't hold the garlic flavour. You can grate garlic, then chocolate, then lemon, then carrot. Anything you want. Amazing. And how popular have these been? Oh, they're fantastic. I always sell out. Always sell out. So get them early. <laughs> Wonderful. And uh, do you have any special offers on for the weekend for the yeah, cake bake? They, they're usually £12. They're 10 at the show. And we give you a special garlic roller and brush to go with them. I've made my first stop at Jane's Port of Call here today. I've taken a quick look around and this has really, really caught my interest. If you're at the cake bake sale, this weekend at the Excel Centre, do pop round and see Jane. She's a lovely woman and I'm sure she could get you a very good deal. I'm here now with Shoka. As you can see, we're looking at coconuts and he's going to talk me through now. What do you have here today? Well, what we have here is a freshly chopped coconut water. So unlike the ones you see in the shops and brown ones, these are the very, very fresh ones. So this is how it falls down the tree. Where are they from, Shoka? Costa Rica. They come from Costa Rica. Okay. Yeah. Popular? Very popular, very very popular drink. Yeah, I mean for the um, apart from the coconut itself, do you recommend drinking the water quite regularly? Um, the water I, I recommend drinking regularly because it's something that is very good for the skin, for the body as well. So the water is good for you as much as the food inside as well. Okay, we'll take the liberty now of asking Shoka to give us a little bit of a demonstration today. Uh, we'll see him in action. I'll try to stay clear and steer clear of his knife sharpening skills and watch from a safe distance. I'm gonna try and do this as a three. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. I mean, the last time I tasted something as good as this, unadulterated, unfiltered, was uh, in India, in Gujarat. And as my friend Moklis would remember, we gave a sample to an Arab friend who responded by saying, Ajib, amazing. Thank you very much, Shoka. You here for the whole three days? I'm here for the whole three days, yes. You can eat some food inside as well. Absolutely. So what you do is I'll let you try it. Yeah. A little Absolutely. Top bit. Wow. Mm. It's like eating delicious meat. Delicious almost. Meat, yes. Healthy delicious meat. Healthy. <laughs> no fats, no poisons. Yes. Mm. Well, that was absolutely delicious. Please do pop on if you're visiting the Cake and Bake Show at the XL this weekend. Come and see my man Shoka here. I'm sure he'll do you a very good deal, as you've seen. I've tasted the samples for myself and I can't recommend it highly enough. With Sarah and Eve now, I'm just going to ask a few questions about this wonderful collection right in front of me now. Um, what's the story behind the name Belmont Bakery? Um, so Belmont Bakery started last year in Dorset. Um, I was doing farmers markets through my masters um, and Belmont's actually the house I used to live in um, with my mum. Um, this is my first London event so it's really exciting um, and just started doing stuff in London and my friends Eve here, my mum and my boyfriend are helping me this weekend um, to do the show which is really cool. <laughs> How are you finding it Eve? It's great, it's been really fun, a lot of hard work. <laughs> Getting them all done in time, but it's been really good. Really good fun. And Sarah, what inspired you to? 
take this up? Um, I really like baking. My grandma taught me when I was little and um, over the last few years did it a lot of uni and then started doing markets and we'd really like to do this a bit more in the future as a full-time job. And uh, are these all your own creations? Yes, <laughs> with help from Eve as well. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How do you plan to take this on to the next level now? Um, so we're going for uh, the cupcake that changed the world. <laughs> um, so we're trying to incorporate sustainability into our baking. So um, we're doing a charity cupcake. Uh, we also try and do um, sustainable like cleaning products and recycled packaging. Um, so hopefully you're going to go a bit more into that stream of things. Um, you just mentioned the ch ch charity event. Tell us a little bit more about that. Um, so we're helping our friend who's just started this um, new enterprise called Tunza, which um, is to help um, conservation with gorillas um, in the kind of Congo area. And his idea is to take business out there to stop people poaching and to use that as a way to build up the community and to um, help protect the gorillas. So we're helping him kickstart his fundraising by selling cakes for him today. So if any of those cakes get sold, um, all the money will be going to him to help. Now, if there's a store that you're going to visit today, I recommend this one as well. Not only are they selling wonderful products uh, for all you sweet product lovers out there, but there's also um, a good cause involved. us over Lou um, and I'm looking at www.sendmecakes.co.uk it's caught my attention already because I heard you share at somebody that these can be posted through the letterbox they can yep they go straight through with Royal Mail and land safely fine and ready to eat yep and do you create the cakes yourself I do yep I do all the baking yeah and how long have you been doing this for Lou well, I've run a small wholesale cake business for 10 years, um, and last year I got really tired of trying to buy online gifts, so I thought, what can I do that's cakey that I can send through the post that will fit through the letterbox? So that's where it came from. How long have you been posting out cakes? Uh, for a couple of months now, so we're pretty new. Have you, have you had any customers saying that cakes have been damaged because of the... Um Thudding. <laughs> no, not a single box. I, I mean, it took me a long time to get the sizes just right so that they'd fit neatly into the box. Um, but I've so sent out hundreds now and not a single person has ever said they've been squashed. It's a great concept and I can see they fit very snugly. There's a beautiful selection of cakes there as well, uh, all created by Lou, uh, handmade. And um, you can check them out. Lou will be at the Cake and Bake Show till Sunday. Come and see her. And if you would like to check her out online, it's www.sendmecakes.co.uk. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's the idea behind these lovely big bottles? Right, so we thought these would be like perfect for Christmas time. There's about six or seven bags of these in them. Uh, and then it doubles up as like a money box after. Or you can put drink in it, you can put your wine, anything like that. Orange juice, Coca-Cola, Cordials. Yeah, exactly. And anything how much like. do they sell it for? So, uh, we've got a show special today, so they're £15, but they're usually 20 And how long have you been involved in this uh, venture? Uh, we've been going since 2011, based in Woking in Surrey and it's all hand hot, everything, so it's... So it's all in-house? Yeah, yeah, all of it's done by us. And last question, are you here the whole weekend? Yeah, we're here Friday, Saturday, Sunday, so uh, everyone come, visit us. <laughs> Pop over and see Sam. Yay! I love that. <laughs> okay. Hi, Una, nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you too. Okay, tell us a little bit about what you've got here. Um, well, we're the marshmallowists. We make fresh fruit marshmallows, so we take whole fruits, we puree them up ourselves, and then we bake them into lovely marshmallows. And these are all your own creations? They are my creations. I trained as a chocolatier in Paris, and I set up the company four years ago, and we have flavors such as passion fruit and ginger, raspberry and champagne, coconut, like really different sort of flavors. It's interesting. Training as a chocolatier, what does that involve? 
Um, a lot of long hours, a lot of early mornings, a lot of angry French chefs. <laughs> um, but no, it's really incredible. I did it for four years in Paris and it was such a wonderful training experience. And this has obviously given you new good grounding and foundations to start your own. Very much so, yeah. It was a really great experience to be able to sort of sell my own company by myself. So. Um, yeah, it was just going pretty as well as well. So. Do, you, do you travel around much? Um, yeah, we are. We're based up in Leeds. We've got a shop up in Leeds. Um, we sell in Selfridges and Harvey Nichols, and we do a lot of trade shows like the Cake and Bake Show and sort of different London festivals and street feasts and stuff. In terms of ideas, are you constantly evolving, changing? Very much so. We've got core six flavours that are retail packaging, um, but then we constantly have new flavours. We've got a new flavour for the Cake and Bake Show today. It's a lemon and cracked black pepper with a passion fruit curd on top. It's really delicious. Definitely the best new flavour I've come up with in a wee while. But we, um, we've got thousands, like hundreds of recipes that we're sort of changing on our website all the time. We've got like a flavour of the month um, and just like a whole little repertoire of flavours that we sort of are able to ping on and stuff. So. I'm on the afternoon bus tour and I'm with Sam Philippe. This Hi is, guys. This is very, very grand. Tell us a little bit about the project. So basically it's a family project. So we got the owners, Bibi and Philippe, uh, and their son, Cedric, who had this amazing idea. So they've started with a bakery in Covent Garden. Right. Um, and yeah, they grew up. So they found this idea to, to have the, the afternoon tea on board of a bus. So you got the perfect match. You got the vintage bus. You got the afternoon tea. You got the tour. Um, so this is the main idea. And how long has this tour been taking place? Um, so we launched that in April 2014, so it's a bit more than a year. And where do you travel when you take this tour? So basically there's two departure points, there's one nearby Trafalgar Square and the second one is um, at Victoria Coach Station and we pass by all the famous landmarks in London, so uh, we give a bit of commentary as well and the tour lasts for about 90 minutes. These are some of the food items, delicious I can see, yeah. that you provide to uh, paying customers. Yeah, exactly. So you can see it's the, it's the food afternoon tea here. Mm -hmm. We get unlimited hot drinks, tea, coffees, um, the scones as well. And we can also cater for um, halal option, vegetarian, gluten free. So upon booking, just make sure that uh, people mm -hmm. ask for the specific requirements. But this is something you can do as well. That will be quite of good interest to our readers as well, especially the ones who are uh, looking for a halal option. Yeah. Um, available on here. And how long does a tour last? Uh, so depending on the traffic, especially in London, but it's supposed to be for about 90 minutes. You're from Belgium. Any plans to start something in Brussels or maybe Paris or any other major European cities? I can't spoil the surprise now, but um, we definitely have this idea in our head to expand this uh, concept. So for the moment, I won't say anything, but maybe. Finger crossed. The Cake and Bake Show runs from Friday 2nd of October to Sunday the 4th of October at the Excel Centre. It's got something to cater for everybody. Plenty of uh, sweet dishes, marshmallows, cakes, baking products, lots of fun visitors, uh, quite a few celebrities milling around who you can as well.